Here we have a very popular 750 watt VSD pump with a cast iron head. It comes with a, a great controller that's used on um, the nicer HMS stainless steel pumps, as well as this one's bigger 1.5 kilowatt sibling. This controller is very nice in that, um, well, A, it's a variable speed drive pump, so you save a lot of power as it can adjust its speed. Um, secondly, it's got leak detection, so it can detect if there's a problem in the pipework and uh, causing a constant leak and sound a, a, a warning with it. And it's got dry run protection. It's also probably one of the easiest controllers to actually adjust the pressure. And it's one of the few controllers where you can adjust the turn on point um, for if you want to use it with a, a pressurized buffer tank. To start off with, let's see how it does if the controller is set to two bar. First, we're going to run just a small, small load and see how well the VSD um, can throttle. It's definitely noisier than um, the HMS or the, the DAB VSD pumps, um, but it's not, not super loud at this, this, um, this setting. Power consumption is 490 watt for only a small small bit of water usage here. If we then open it up to run a, run a full shower. 560 watt at two bar, that's actually quite a bit more than, um, than I'd expect from a VSD pump. If we then, um, that, and that's at 500 liters an hour. If we add a second shower, you can hear it speeds up a bit. Now we're at about a thousand liters an hour. We're drawing 680 watt. If we add a third shower, I think that it's speeding up to maximum, maximum because we're struggling to keep the two bar pressure just about there, but not quite. And now we are at the rate at 750 watt. So if it's if it's struggling to keep it, I'm not even going to try for a higher flow. Let's see how it does at two and a half bar. Nice thing is it's literally plus and minus buttons to adjust the pressure, very quick and simple. To try with just a, a small flow. It's hitting its pressure target there. 595 watt. If we open a single shower. Choo. That's at now at about 600 liters an hour and we're actually pulling 760 watt. If we open a second shower, we're at 820 watt, so it actually is pulling more, more power, and it is a little bit down on pressure. On its gauge here, it's showing it's managing to keep 2.4 bar, so it's still remotely in the region. If we open a third one, however, then, um, we dropped to 1.8 bar on, it, on its gauge here. So that does show that it's a bit over what the, the unit can, um, can manage. Still at maximum power consumption. And let's see out of interest how it does. If we set it to three bar. Just a small load. Small flow there. Okay, we're getting to the free bar target. Wow, but we're drawing 830 watt just for a small bit at, um, at free bar. So at that point, uh, yeah, it, it, it's basically you're not gaining anything by going for the variable speed drive pump if you're at free bar or higher. And yeah, we're for a single shower, we're managing to keep 2.8 bar on its gauge almost at three bar on, on ours there, but drawing 890 watt. And if we open a second shower, yeah, then we drop, drop pressure again, um, back to a bit under 2.5 bar, and still at 860 watt. So that's, yeah, we've basically gone over what the, the pump can provide. Let's just see out of interest, can it manage a higher pressure? If we give it three and a half bar, we'll get there. Okay, it looks like it's getting there. Let's just see 
Yo, okay, just ramping up to that um, pressure, we're pulling a thousand watt. Let me give it a small little flow there. Now, yeah, sitting at 970 watt. And if we open a single shower, we drop down again to the three bar, so we're over what the pump can provide. It's trying to get there, so I'm still pulling well over 900 watt. But um, yeah, so it's over over what the pump can actually deliver. Yeah, and it looks like it only starts shutting down if we put it down to about 3.2 bar. Okay, so a nice little pump. It's only really going to work at lower lower pressures. So that means um, you can't really use it if you want to pump through, uh, through filters as the pressure is just too low because you need, need a bit of a higher pressure pump to, if you want to go through any kind of filtration. Another downside is the cast iron head. So you can only really use a cast iron pump if you've got a high hardness or water that has a tendency to scale. If you use it on something like rainwater or even normal municipal water, it will rust and you will um, see that you start to get rust through into your distribution system. But yeah, very nice controller, but underwhelming results, unfortunately.